Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff, the YouTube channel where we bring to life kids' amazing invention ideas. We hope you're all staying safe during the coronavirus lockdown. Now, we recently brought to life 11-year-old Alex's furry, dog-shaped electric car, and that inspired us to put together this video where we're going to revisit and celebrate some of the amazing kids' crazy vehicle ideas that we've been sent and brought to life on this channel. Go! Kids Invent Stuff. The very first crazy vehicle that we brought to life on this channel was Connor's Crazy Car Invention. It's a car with a scissor lift in the back, and when you hit a button, it raises the scissor lift up, out through the roof of the car, so you can sit on the top of the car, watching the view as you drive along. So to build Connor's invention, we had to squeeze a really heavy scissor lift into the back of a tiny car. Now the scissor lift weighed 350 kilos, and we had to use a whole load of rollers to drag it up, get it into the side door of the car, and then drop it down into the back of the car. And then Ruth cut a hole in the top of the car, and we made some flaps that would lift up so you could come out of the roof. Testing out Connor's invention was amazing, and at the time, it was the biggest build we'd ever done on this channel. So we've used lots of different materials to make our vehicles, but probably one of the weirdest materials we've used is cake. We combined 140 kilograms of vegan cake, which we made in little Tupperware squares uh, in a microwave. It took 30 hours. Uh, we combined them all together to make Grace's amazing gravity racer, which we even iced and added candles to. And we took it to a real gravity race and I raced it downhill. It was incredible, but probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. We even made a sprinkle cannon. Sprinkles! And of course, we had to have a spectacular finish. But it's not just crazy vehicles to go on land that we've brought to life on this channel. Back in 2018, we built Ruben's idea for a shipwreck survival Zorb invention. It was an inflatable Zorb that packed down into a bag that you could inflate and assemble to escape if you ever got stranded on a desert island. Now to test Ruben's invention, we had to simulate a shipwreck. So we got a friend with a boat and we set sail and I had to throw myself off the moving boat as we were sailing along with my life jacket on. And then we filmed me putting together Ruben's invention to escape and then we set out to sea. So I had this air tank to breathe from so that when I was inside the Zorb I didn't run out of air because it's a sealed ball. Testing Ruben's invention was definitely a memorable one from the perspective of jumping off a moving boat and then having to spend several hours sealed in an inflatable ball on the sea. But it was a stupid amount of fun and it was definitely a very memorable invention to test. So we never thought we'd be building a vehicle for our treehouse challenge, but then Daniel sent us his incredible idea for a drivable treehouse, and it was epic. I loved building this, and it was in fact the first time that I'd used a chainsaw, which was very exciting. Now, if you're looking at these amazing invention ideas and thinking, I know some creative children whose invention you should be building, then send them to our website. Each month we set a different invention challenge, and who knows, we could be building their invention next. A bit later on, we upgraded Connor's crazy car invention with the scissor lift to incorporate a giant slime firing cannon based on Sonny's slime firing invention idea. Now, Sonny wanted this giant slime cannon that would fire edible slime, and we tested it out, and Ruth fired 300 litres of edible slime with chocolate and marshmallows and food colouring and sprinkles and all sorts in it. She fired it at me, I got absolutely covered. Thank you again, Sunny, for your amazing invention idea. We had loads of fun testing out the slime cannon car. So I don't think I'll ever forget the build of this next vehicle, and that's because I was in labour. So I will always have a soft spot for True's rainbow jelly bean pooping unicorn. I'm riding a unicorn! This is amazing! And we even gave it an upgrade with the incredible As Stephanie Explains It All so that it would poop jelly beans when someone tweeted it. And it's now living the high life at Raspberry Pi Towers. And of course, the most recent crazy vehicle we brought to life was 11-year-old Alex's furry dog-shaped electric car. As well as being furry, Alex's invention has a mechanical wagging tail and a barking <laughs> horn. And we had loads of fun seeing people's reactions as we drove it around. There were also some amazing reactions from dogs 
who were totally freaked out by seeing this giant furry car driving about. This is definitely one of the most complicated crazy vehicle builds we've ever done. As we built Alex's dog car completely from scratch, we didn't start off with an original car like we did with Connor's crazy car. Every part of the car had to be built from the bare bones to make this working vehicle. So it's definitely set the bar and given us a bit of a challenge for how we could better this for our future crazy vehicle projects. Now we don't just build crazy vehicles on this channel. Oh no, we bring to life some incredible kids invention ideas. So if farting staircases or jam firing rockets sound like your sort of thing, then subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. And we couldn't bring to life kids awesome crazy vehicle ideas if it wasn't for the help of our amazing sponsors. So we'd like to say a massive thank you to Engineering Take A Closer Look for sponsoring this video and for sponsoring the build and test of Alex's furry electric dog car. Check out their website which will appear on the screen for some amazing engineering resources and inspiration. And if you've got any questions about any of the projects featured in this video, then leave us some comments below and we will do our best to answer any questions that you've got. We will see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.